Welcome to Fun Friday. Let's have some fun. Welcome back, everybody, to another Fun Friday video, the series where we open up packs throughout Magic's history. Today, we have got some amazing packs for you, and we're going to jump right in. We have got Throne of Eldraine, we have got Commander Legends, we have got Magic Origins, we have got Lorwyn, a very nice one, and Amon Ket rounding us out. Without further ado, let's jump right in. Let's kick things off, guys, with probably the least exciting pack out of our stack here. We have got a Throne of Eldraine pack. Now, when I say least exciting, I do not by any means mean bad. Throne of Eldraine was an amazing set. It offered a lot of power, uh, and particularly for Standard at the time, that actually caused some issues for some people. Uh, so, we'll see what we get. There are a lot of really, really nice pulls in this one. In particular, things like Questing Beast would be amazing. I uh, would be very, very happy to pull that. But let's see what we get. Let's go through. We have got Silver Flame Ritual here. We have got Spore Cap Spider. Uh, Merfolk Secret Keeper, one of the fun draft cards of the set. Mill was very prominent at the time. Uh, and so being able to essentially pick these up as much as possible throughout the draft was very quickly kind of the way to draft. Uh, and I think they even had to patch the bots on Arena just to make sure that when you were bot drafting, you could actually uh, draft that. Uh, Crystal Slipper. Uh, our first uncommon is Tournament Grounds, nice for the knight uh, or equipment deck. We've got Fairy Vandal, a very nice uh, is it card for sure. We have got Trail of Crumbs, a card that saw play in a lot of the uh, adventure decks. The, the green, black, Golgari adventure decks were huge at the time. Trail of Crumbs was a great way to produce food. Uh, worked great in mono green as well. And then our rare is Iron Crag Pyromancer. Not a bad card, actually. This, uh, along with the Fairy Vandal, went in the Is It deck pretty well. Uh, being able to essentially draw extra cards each turn and then just lightning bolt something uh, seemed pretty good. So the fact that this hit any target uh, also very flexible, allowed it to hit creatures, planeswalkers, players, whoever you needed to hit, you could with the Pyromancer. A lot of really nice synergies with this card. Uh, and then of course we've got an island and a food token. So not a bad start. It's not an incredible one. By no means is it just the best, but it's not bad. So what should we do next? Uh, you know what? Let's go Amonkhet. Uh, I actually really enjoyed Amonkhet. Uh, lots of fun draft synergies in here as well. Uh, some really nice tribal synergies and just a really interesting arc in the story, I will say. A lot of people really enjoy enjoyed the Egyptian theme, uh, which I did as well. I am one of those people. Uh, I absolutely loved it. Uh, and so it was a really fun set, a lot of beautiful artwork. Uh, and just some really, really awesome cards. So, we've got Cartouche of Ambition, one of the Cartouche cycle. We have one for each color. Uh, some of them were better than others. I think, if I recall correctly, the green one might have been the best. Uh, Nefcrop Entangler. Uh, our first uncommon is Nest of Scarabs. The negative one, negative one counters uh, were very much a mechanic of this set. We could do a lot of cool stuff with them uh, in the green black deck. And so this was one of those cards for that. We've got Embalmer's Tools. We've got Trial of Zeal, another cycle. This was one of the better ones. Uh, being able to deal three damage to a creature or player when it came out, and then when it enters the battlefield under your, or excuse me, when a cartouche enters the battlefield under your control, return it to its owner's hand. So these synergized with the cartouches uh, and the trials, very, very cool. And then we have got Aven Mind Sensor, a reprint for the set, but one that I was actually very happy about. It did drop the value of Aven Mind Sensor quite a bit, uh, but this actually sees sideboard play uh, for uh, white weenie decks, things like that in modern and other legacy formats because uh, it essentially makes it a lot harder for fetch lands to hit their mark. Uh, being able to only search the top four cards of your deck versus your entire deck means that a lot of times you crack the fetch and then in response play the mind sensor and now all of a sudden the, the opponent can't really get their, their lands. So very, very strong card. Not a high value card, but a very strong one at least. All right. Let's do, let's do Commander Legends. Commander Legends, obviously, one of the newer sets, in fact, one of the newest sets, uh, and really, really powerful. Some amazing cards in this set. Obviously, look at that thick pack. We've got a lot of cards in these packs, uh, and just some amazing potential value. Obviously, very focused on Commander. Did have a draft experience built around it, which I thought was awesome. Uh, and so a very, very fun set for sure. Filigree Familiar, one of my favorite little cards. Raise the alarm. 
Annoyed Allosaurus with Cascade. Cascade being a very powerful mechanic indeed. Uh, fall from favor. We've got Spectral Searchlight. We've got Maelstrom Colossus featuring Cascade again. And our first uncommon is or Orzov Advocist. Beautiful artwork, absolutely love it. Uh, Merchant Raiders, not bad. We've got three visits. We have got our first rare. Uh, there is potential to get multiple rares here. Court of Cunning, one and two blue for an enchantment. This is all part of a new, a new uh, cycle introduced in Commander Legends. All very, very powerful. Very much Commander staples in my opinion. Uh, Thalisi Reverend Medium, not bad. Love the artwork. Uh, Helena Kessig Ranger. Uh, and then a Foil Trove Tracker. Uh, not the most amazing pack, if I'm honest. The Quartz are not bad. I don't know the value. You guys will obviously see it on the screen, but just a very, very cool uh, cool pack. Let's go Magic Origins. Let's save Lorwyn. We gotta save Lorwyn, right? Uh, all right, let's see what we get. Uh, still looking for that Baby Jace. I've never opened a Baby Jace before, but this set did introduce the Flip Planeswalkers. Liliana, I believe, is still the one sitting at the top of the value list. Uh, but Jace is nipping at the bud, very close behind for sure. Uh, Magic Origins, really, really cool set thematically and told the story, the origin story of a lot of the main series Planeswalkers, which I thought was really cool. Goblin Glory Chaser is our first uncommon featuring that Renown mechanic, a very good one. Uh, Council's, Council's Lieutenant, also featuring Renowned, a very, very good two drop, especially in draft. Uh, Blightcaster, a very cool card that synergizes a lot with enchantments, very nice. And our rare, ooh, Flame Shadow Conjuring, not very good if I am not mistaken. Again, the value will pop up if there is anything over a dollar, but uh, not super exciting. And then a Planes and a Zombie token. All right, but now it's time. It's time. We've got Lorwyn, guys. We have not opened Lorwyn for quite a while. I absolutely love this set. It's always a great time to open it. Uh, let's see if we can figure out when... I don't recall when this set actually came out, if I'm honest. Uh, I was going to try and see if I could find it here, but we'll look on the cards as we get them out. Uh, love, love, love. Oh, here we go. 2007. 2007. My goodness. Uh, so, such an old pack. Uh, it's, it feels like, at least. Very, very good stuff in this set for sure. Uh, some early, early Planeswalkers were in here. Uh, I believe Crypt Cryptic Command is in here as well. Just some really awesome stuff. So Moonglove Extract, we're going to take our time through this one. Uh, Hillcomber Giant. The Giants were very much a huge tribal as well as the fairies. Sentinels of Glenelendra, not a bad one. Sting Drinker Daredevil. Dream Spoiler Witches. Love the artwork in this set. Just a huge reminder of how great this set really was. Fault Grinder, very nice. Elementals. Root Grapple. Uh, oh, that's right. We had Tribal Instance and Sorceries. That was a really cool time. Gold Meadow Dodger. Not bad. We've got Wings of Veles Vel. Look at that beautiful, beautiful artwork. <laughs> My goodness. Uh, Flamekin Brawler. Our first uncommon is Sylvan Echoes, an enchantment when you clash and win, you may draw a card. Very, very powerful. Uh, clash was a really cool ability uh, where I believe you revealed the top card of your deck and whichever one had the higher mana cost, whether you or your opponent, uh, the, the higher mana cost won. If, I'm, if I recall correctly, I might be dumb. Uh, fodder Launch, very cool in the goblin deck. Changeling Hero. Shapeshifters were really, really important in this set because it really filled out all of the tribes. We've seen that kind of used elsewhere as well. Uh, and so very, very cool. And our rare... Oh, no, excuse me, I lied. Elemental Shaman is our token. And our rare is Auntie's Hovel, part of a land cycle, a two color land cycle. This one featuring the goblins. There were elves, I believe. There was a lot. Uh, as it comes into play, you may reveal a goblin card from your hand. If you don't, it comes into play tapped. Just a nice little dual land, nothing too crazy, but it did uh, have some value to it, I believe. And a foil island from Lorwyn. Look at that beautiful, beautiful art. My goodness. Absolutely love it, guys. Well, that's going to do it for Fun Friday today. I do appreciate you guys hanging out with us and sticking around for some awesome pack openings. Don't forget to tune in next Friday where we will have five more packs for you guys. And don't forget to have a fun Friday. Have a great weekend, guys. I'll talk to you in the next one.